Welcome to the Ed and Joe folks. Dude. Welcome to the Ed and Joe <laughs> show, folks. Not as easy as it looks. Thank you for making me look good. Now, I've been saying that for how many years now? Welcome to the Ed and Joe show here with uh, my good friend Ed Sapienza, co-host with Joseph Kevlavasser. I've had some big shows in my day. On live TV, we've had some good ones. This one will not disappoint. Mike Gill, the owner of that massive very well lit up, we've got the most pixels of all time, HD sign on South Willow Street, um, is here with us and going to give you an earful of what he thinks about politics, what he thinks about the state of New Hampshire, what he thinks about corruption, what he thinks about uh, the drug problem in the, in the state of New Hampshire, in the city of New Hampshire. He's going to talk about his business, of course. He's going to talk about his fact that he's going to run for governor. And uh, we'll see how serious it is about it. Mike Gill, welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, you're a pretty famous guy. I don't know if it's famous or infamous. A lot of people are a little bit upset. Well, not a lot of people, but I do hear as an alderman. Every once in a while, people are a little bit upset from the choice of words you use on your sign. Not the fact that you're using the choice of words, but the fact that children are in cars as they drive by. I'm sure you've heard that criticism, and or maybe you haven't. I don't know. No, no, no. <clears throat> I've had... WBZ show up with the sign, and, and all they could ask was the word shithead. Okay. I've had uh, so union that, leader. I've had the Lawrence Hill Tribune might be coming out tomorrow. How about this? Why didn't they mention heroin dealers? Why didn't they mention extortion? Right? Even the so media. So all the other words that you've used, in other words, because they're afraid to repeat what you've said because they're afraid of lawsuits? Because you're <coughs> not afraid to say what you're saying about what you think is corruption in the state. Well, here's this. I've said it about politicians, law firms. Who sued me? Nobody. Mm, nobody in fact, that. I'm still asking you, could you please? I want the opportunity to depose you. No one has. If I didn't put the word shithead on that sign, would we be here? Would we be talking? Would it be an issue? We, but we're talking about heroin. Okay, where did you, who did you refer to as uh, an S-head? I, I don't think it's a bad word. I, I mean, it's well, not a nice word when you see it, but most kids that are five or six probably get Mike has brought up uh, South Park is worse and the internet and everything out there. Well, how about this? You know what's worse? Children dying of heroin. Okay. Well, Having you? heroin, Dick, Dick Agonos, that's right. I name names. And Cruz. They are your heroin dealers in this state. Been for 20 years. And listen, if I'm wrong, you get to sue me. No one's suing me still. 20 years. They own the treatment center. Hope treatment center. So they're selling your drugs, killing your children, and the ones who don't die, you own the treatment center. And the same Joe LaChance, which I was praying was going to show up, the rep, he's putting in the cannabis bill. They have them, sell them through the treatment centers. So they're not only going to have the heroin business, they're going to have the pot business. And you see how many people die in the fentanyl? Where does the fentanyl come from? Oh, the hospitals that they own too. Now you think about that. Why is heroin the worst problem per capita in the country, in this state, if it isn't being protected by the police in the AG's office? I am telling you, so when I put up heroin dealers, what do you think my Nashua sign's down? You know what it had? It had two arrows in it. My Plastow sign went down suddenly, right? It was sabotaged. The reason why it's sabotaged is because what they say on it. You can sue me, and if I'm wrong, you could have an injunction and take it down. Nobody's taken anything down. But when I put heroin, nobody. nobody's taken it down. But you've had two other signs that have been actually physically. multiple sabotage. Well, a couple of arrows. <coughs> you have insurance. That's a message. Or? No. How about this? I can't get repairmen out there. Okay. You know why? You're talking actual arrows here, like from a bow and arrow, not not. Well, like to be exact, what are we talking about here? All right, I'll tell you exactly. Right. It's called a bolt. You okay. know what they shoot out a crossbow? Okay. A bolt. Yeah. We got two of those. All right. Right. All right. So, Mike, can we start a little bit slow, just for a second, before, because it's, I, you're going to rile up a lot of people in the city, which is that's fine. the idea. Well, that's, that's good, and this show has been known to rile up a lot. Of I people. hope they. How about this? We got three people died Monday. Fentanyl, right? Let's I mean, talk about you if for you're a second. Be riled you're, up. Be riled up about that. Let's talk about you for a second. You're running for governor. 
You own a business in Manchester. It's on the corner of, I don't know what the street's at. Now. It's on Willow. We I also have an office in Nashua okay. and Plastow. We were the largest broker in the United States. What was the name of the business? Mortgage Specialist. Okay. It's the same business. I've been in business 26 years. Okay. Okay. I've made hundreds of millions of dollars, and I will put every penny of what I've made and what I'm going to make to fight this. Okay. The, the one on South Will is just prior to the mall. If you're heading towards the mall, it's on your right. The ramp. Off the ramp. The ramp. The ramp. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's bright. bright. It's very bright. I mean, it, I wish it, I could make it bright. It, 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 at night, it's very bright. But I mean, you have to kind of like be at the right spot at the right time to catch whatever it sounds. I know you said, um, I, I think your biggest beef was the corruption in the AG's office, or was it FRM? Well, this, I, I thank you for asking that. Are you okay to take phone calls because they're going to come pretty fast? Listen, I. I'm okay with any of it. Okay. And I that's, that's what hey, I'm, let's take and if call. Joe Lachan, can I just say yes. one thing? Oh, right, yeah. Because you brought it into it. Now, what I'm going to tell you, and this is, if I'm going to say anything to you, this is the most important thing that I need everybody to hear. Okay? I've been doing mortgages for 26 years. I discovered the FRM Ponzi scheme and took it to the AG's office. Perlo. Perlo then became your banking commissioner. So the AG's office is still protecting the banking commission and with FRM. But do you know why they're covering for the banking department? The banking department are covering for laundering of drug money. They are the monitors of Granite State Credit Union, Prime Bank. These are agonists. These are the people, they're putting their money in there and laundering it. They are not federally chartered, they're state chartered. So the banking commission is the one that audits them. Okay, FRM being financial resource management. Right, right? it okay. was a way into the the banking the right. commission. Mike, the reason why Jump the AG's in office was so uh, yeah. important, they had the cover. I'm, I'm All right. here. I, I okay. have more of a statement for Mr. Gill right. than anything. And you know, I understand he has First Amendment protections. He can put down, you know, that word on his sign. But I think what it comes down to is common decency. When Are I you saying the word is heroin? Is learning how to pronounce words, and that sign pops up, and my five-year-old is in the back of the car, uttering that word. You know, Mr. Gill, you may have a fight with politicians, uh, whoever it may be. I'm talking, I have a fight with law. heroin dealers, sir. Exactly. When you have a message like heroin that, dealers. Billboard, nobody really cares. Nobody wants to hear about it because you come No one cares about heroin. People dying. Well, I'm sorry, I missed that. People don't care about children dying. I've got heroin on the board. Well, I'm hey, telling hey, people. Hey, hold on, Mr. Gill. No, let, let's not complicate the matter. So let, let's complicate talk, let's not it. Muddy the waters here. Let's talk about your word on that billboard. Again, you're protected by the First Amendment. You have every right to say that. But out of common decency, please just remove the word. Now, if you want to talk about heroin, and you mentioned fentanyl coming out of the hospitals. You're wrong. The Sentinels come out of the Mexican cartels out of Mexico. How do you know? How are you plugged into the Mexican car cartel? And if you're that smart about the Mexican cartel, then why are we talking about the word as heroin on that sign? Not shithead, shithead. Excuse me, Mr. Gill, but the bottom line is, why don't you have some common decency? Because at the end of the day, here's the bottom line. You know what? Well, it is decency that I'm here to spend money to save children's lives. You come across as an elitist, and you come across as a jerk. Thank you. Uh, no. All right, thank okay. you, Mike, for that input. That's, that's Hold on. Mike's input. Listen, his problems with the word shit, he's got a five-year-old. He's going to have a lot more problem that five-year-old becomes 15 on heroin. That's what we're doing. So why, what, what is about... Uh, How about we wouldn't be here if I didn't use that word? Okay, but heroin, you didn't start off with your sign attacking the government and, and corruption based on heroin. You, you, it was You're right. That started. You're right. I found the corruption. To find out that the corruption, as I continue to do it, I'm having people, informants, coming to me every day. People know what I'm saying is true. We don't know that this state is corrupt. Well, let me ask you, uh, uh, what are the chances that someone's going to be uh, held accountable? Someone going to be arrested? Uh, I like my chances of doing this. And if I'm governor, I will put him in jail. You know what we'll do? We'll have Joe the chance. You know, the bill. You know what we're going to go? Hey, Joe, you know what we're going to do? We're going to give you immunity. You're a half-wit, so we don't want to put you in jail. We want you to put everybody else in jail. Don't think that I can't do it. And they know that I can. What you're not hearing, you're not hearing through the media, but look through Facebook, and I know you guys do. You hear people complaining about the sign for every 50, 49 saying you're doing the right thing. Now you think about that. 
49 out of 50, and you guys watch, you tell me if that ain't true. Now, what is that? They know the truth. People, unless the worst drug problem in, in, in the country. Does that mean anything? It means that the police and the AG's office are protecting the drug dealers. Now, how big and who are these drug dealers are that they would protect? How about the dealer of the year? Now, let me ask you a question about um, the AG's office. You made a great point that I didn't understand. I never would have ever thought of. But and no one the else AG's did. office has come out of one particular law firm over the last thirty years. Thirty years, McLean runs it, and they're that's the, it? That's the only law firm. Right, you got years. it. Well, go back. Ayotte's the set, McLean. Wait, wait, Ayotte worked at McLean. Right. Okay, then the next one was Mike Delaney. Delaney? He worked at McLean. And still there now. No, he's gone. Foster's there now. Foster's there. I'm still back, but he's back to McLean working. Right, he's back to McLean. Did you okay. know they swapped jobs? And Foster actually was no. working at McLean. Now he's the AG's right. office. Right, and he yes. only worked at McLean for 29 years. It's no accident. It's their piece of the pie. That's why you have an Ayotte. I never thought, I never... Well, and neither has anybody else. before I was there anyone else? I don't know who the... I've taken it back for 30 years and say, this is no mistake. People on it. And then why do you think Perlo going went to the banking department when is an insurance defender... Wait, who is Perlo? Perlo's the banking department. When I turned around, uh, commissioner, when I turned around and brought this up a couple weeks ago, that I found out that this is what the banking department was doing with the drug laundering. Perlow didn't say I was wrong. He resigned suddenly. And nobody knows where he went, and he ain't saying it. All right, folks, if you're just tuning in, Mike Gill owns Mortgage Specialist. He's the guy that owns the big sign out on South Willow. And, of course, Ed Zappienzer and Joseph Kelly Lavasa are here to have a discussion if you guys would like to call in. And, well, you saw one person who's upset because they have a young child that didn't like the, the one word that you used, but I don't. have you ever had criticism... From, oh, all right, before the use of the word that got everybody all riled up and got you in the paper, were you in the paper before that at all? No. Nothing at all? No. Okay. I mean, we could say heroin dealer. We could turn around and say extortion, which I have. I only have a $100,000 check that Shaheen cashed. That's extortion. Well, when the person leader wrote the story about the word you used, did they write about anything else that you used? Of course not. Okay. Just, did you see, if you saw the interview that we had filmed as giving it, I was bringing it. I got one chest about the heroin. Why don't you buy us about extortion? And it's right back to the word. And the Lawrence Eagle Tribune just called me before I got here and said, we're going to print the story. But all that stuff you gave us about Agonos and the drug dealers and all that, we're going to save that for another story. We're just going to talk about the word oh, on the sign. Right? It's all immediate cover. These papers are all sold out. Now, before... All right. Before this whole sign thing, what, did you put up the sign because you wanted to use it as a voice, or did you put it up for your originally because of your business? I mean, oh no, no, no! Listen, putting up, calling out Shaheen and Ayot and so forth is never good for business. But you have to draw a line. You have to draw a line with people dying and corrupt being the state being this corrupt. I know that. So in other words, I have to put that. So it's never been good for business, and we were the largest broker. But where do you put it to? Listen, I could have taken their fifty million, and I put that offer out there. Who's fifty million? Where's Liberty International, parent company of Liberty Mutual, that include Wiggins and Nori, that include McLean Law Firm, in writing. That, did, what did they offer you? Fifty million for what? To shut up, to settle, to settle. No, listen, it's out there. Okay, we got right, another yeah, caller. We got a caller here. Yeah. I don't have the caller's name. Caller, go on and get in there. You're on the air. You're on the air, fella. Or lady. Yeah, hello. I'd like to address an issue about a quarter mile down the road from that uh, sign. Yeah. And that has to do with the old Sylvania plant. Yeah. And it's got an underground vault full of radioactive material. Not full of, but it's got wants, something in it. Doesn't Agonos own that? But it is with that. Why yeah. do we not sue Osram and send the bill to India? Thank you. You're welcome. Well, actually, Agonos owns that building. Well, he bought it with me out with a couple of... Let me ask you before we go into that. Um... Is there anybody in politics that you like? Like, is there anybody out there that you say to yourself, that's the politician that's doing it the right way, or that's a politician that I think, or are there people out there that you say need to be risen up? I and, understand. Uh, what Trump, is that a guy you can say? Uh, Listen, this is what I want. You can't get a politician in the state of New Hampshire saying corruption, but you can't get one to say that's not corruption. Until you get a candidate to turn around and say, hey, listen, it is corrupt. I'm going to come here and fix it. I'm going to come in here and throw these bastards in jail. 
Now, when you get somebody like that, that's the problem. The house is on fire. We're arranging furniture. Let's put the fire out. That's what I'm going to do. Let's expose this corruption. Let's put them in jail. And this is easy, you know. It's not going to be hard. Okay, you, see, you give them immunity, and they will fall in line. The problem with rats are... Who's going to give them the immunity if they're corrupt? Well, there's a governor. I'm working people. with the Department of Justice right now. I brought the oh. biggest RICO complaint in the history of horse racing together. They've already indicted 24 people, 17 more to come. Right. So it is possible. That leads into my question, Mike. You, you know, you're saying if you become governor, there's going to be accountability, okay? Now, could this be done if, perchance, you don't get elected governor? I mean, if you have the evidence... I've been doing this, mm -hmm. and I've been working with the Department of Justice. I have three deals right now asking for immunity to put them all in jail. So what we've got to do is keep pushing forwards to have the people behind us that demands questions to be asked. We have to demand an audit of the banking department. They all go to jail. Listen, the strength that they have is in containment. That's where their strength is. If you break through that containment, that's media, that's everything, that's attack. If you attack me, you attack the message. But if we turn around and have that breakthrough, it falls apart. The weight of it falls apart. How has all this affected your life being out against uh, the big boys? Listen, I am the big boy. I'm not afraid. All those assholes work for me. I'm following you. All those guys work for me. You're right? The guys that are actually in government. Walker worked for me. Shadeen did work for me. Kakavas did work for me. In fact, they were, they, they were bootleggers from day one. All right? And how, what do you mean by doing work for you? Right? Legal work? Legal work. Walker would travel the country with me. Which is which Walker is that? Alex Walker was the president of Divine Miller Map. You know, the same guy pushing the Medicaid expansion bill for the drug dealers. It's all connected. Okay. And Kakavis did work for you? Sure he did. Kakavis did work to me on the FRM thing. In fact, the same guy was the prosecutor. I reported the policy <coughs> to no, him. There, there In fact, I want to tell you, I went to Kakavis. And you can ask John Kakavis, I didn't do this. I went into him. He had his assistant, we had him, we sat across the table, this one. And I told him I was putting his ass in jail. Now you asked him if I didn't do that. I did get him to resign. I did get Assistant Attorney well, General Richard Head to resign. I did turn around and get the uh, Perlow, the Banking Commission, to resign. On FRM, Financial Resource Management, there was some accountability up there, right? I mean, that's Really? Some, what was well, the accountability? Well, was there some? I don't know. I don't know. What do you think the accountability I, was? I, I don't know. I'm All right, so let's talk about this. All right, the two owners, Right? Scott, uh, Dad, uh, I don't know. Well, Barra? Yeah, right, right. So guess what? Kakavis prosecutes them. Who's the defense attorney? Mark Howard. They were business partners three months before. How's that for a conflict? Three months before, Kakavis. You know what? They get the deal of the century, nobody gets any jail time, and they close it off. How's that? Who went to jail? Hildreth, who had two brothers on the Ponzi scheme, has a golden parachute and he flew off to Kansas City. He's in a one-bedroom apartment. I had it investigated. All right, get in there, caller. What do you got? Hi, I'd like to know what your guest thinks of the Donald Rumsfeld story about the $2,300 trillion that was stolen from the secret vault under the Twin Towers. Listen, I'm more concerned about the people stealing our future in the state of New Hampshire. Okay, fair enough. How many yeah. cups of coffee do you drink a day? I don't drink any coffee. You don't even need it, do you? You're just a high-energy guy? I mean, to be a mortgage specialist, you started, when did you start your first business? How old were you? I was in a seminary for five years to be a priest. I got At out what of- what age? I, from about <coughs> 14 to 19. By the time I was 21, I was a multi-millionaire. I had five brokerage offices. Were you born in New Hampshire? I was born in Salem, New Hampshire. Okay. Well, I was born in Lawrence and moved to Salem when I was two years old. Okay. My and father still lives in Salem to this day. So then I went and had the brokerage firm, started the mortgage broker firm, had the largest in the at country 21 there. 21 years of age. At 21 there. You hit, and the, hit the market just at the, I mean, the, the no. country was going great? Or? No, I might have a little insight. Okay. I mean, my talent in handicapping, I was the best handicapper in the world. For, because you did, you owned a ho ho horses too? I owned 450 horses at any one time. I've won more races than any human being in the history of horse racing. What was the name of that company? Uh, Mike Dill. Okay, so it was your own, and did you race all over the United all States? All over the world. Did, what was and your highest, States. highest best race? Like, did you do the Triple Crown? I mean... Uh, Breeders' Cup. Breeders' Cup? Oh, did, yeah. Did you ever win any one of the big ones? Oh, yeah. I've won, I've won multiple. I have this record of every major Eastern racetrack in the country. 
with everywhere the special with a, with a horse. With, with wins, the amount of wins, horses, records. Win money on that game, or is that a is that a big man's uh, a rich man's game that you don't make money on? I didn't make question? money. Yeah. I didn't. But you did it because it was a fun. It was a. I hobby. did it because I'm passionate. I was passionate, Dollar. and I get in there. Was against the richest men in the world, so it got? was a challenge to me. What I did, what how I became that was determination. What you see is determination. What built that company, Mortgage Specials, was determination. Right. And what's going to put these people in jail is the same determination. All right, Mike, I think we have a caller. If we do, jump on in there, caller. I don't have your name, but get in there. Hello? Hello? Hey, you're on the air. You're on the air. Yeah, I have a cool question for the guy. I'm all for freedom of speech, but when he, his message be more effective if he didn't have curse words? Because that's what I don't understand. Like, Good Which, question. Good because, point. You know, I mean, families with kids are going past it. So good point. Of, How about this? Let me, let me we it. wouldn't be here if the word wasn't on the sign. Okay. They okay. wouldn't be calling in. We wouldn't be getting all the interest that we're getting. Listen, do you know why I put the word there? To because grow. of this. To get attention. To get attention. Because right. Because you weren't getting the attention that you need to get. Well, it seems that children dying of heroin didn't get enough attention. Listen. People see it, and it is getting attention. You see Facebook up, things of... I we we all see it. What's the answer? How do we solve the problem? We all know there's a problem there. We all agree there. How about this? What's, what's the solution? If we all agree that there's a problem... Yeah, and I think everybody does. I Great. Think. Everybody does. Then why am I the only one? Are you going to really run for government? Yes, and not really? only going to run, I'm going to win. Okay. I'm t listen, I've won more races. I've won, but I'm telling you I wouldn't be doing it if this wasn't the case. And people are going to know my message. You see, you've run for office before. No, well, I'm not a politician. Mayor, so mayor Bassett, how do you think he's doing as a mayor of the city of Manchester? He's corrupt. Okay. He's oh. in the Greek mafia. He's tight with Agonos and all that. Right. I said it. You didn't say it. Okay. Well, what I'm saying is we have a caller on hold. So get in there, caller. What do you got? Hey, um, instead of this guy running this mock, being a loud mock man, instead of having him uh, going out and spending all his money on his big old sign, why don't you have him put that money into trying to help some of these people that are running around here instead of having you have to flip every single word this guy is saying because he wants freedom of speech, but yet he lets nobody else talk about what we're talking about. Okay. All right. Well, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about this guy with the sign saying about the heroin problem and all this kind of stuff. He's spending all this money, and, and all of a sudden he's sitting there and, he, and, he's, and, and he's trying to tell us, that, uh, well, geez, I get the right to say whatever I want, but nobody else has to say what, 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 whether we agree with what his sign is or what it is anymore. He has the right to say it, but well, people have really? the right to say that we uh, think it's abusive and, 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 um, and, and offensive the way he's putting it across. Now, I, you know, um, um, sympathy for but, 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 but uses of feels, but Jesus, come on, man. Oh, all right. Do you have a problem with the word heroin at all? Do you have the problem with the word extortion? What's the I do. What's what does extortion mean? Extortion. Yes. What does it mean? Who said extortion? The sign said extortion. There, genius. Extortion. What does it mean? That's what I'm talking about. That's when you have your senator. I have to pay a hundred thousand. Extortion is telling somebody that they can't say anything unless you know. You know, exactly. Or say anything that's detrimental to anybody else, then we're gonna then we're gonna penalize you. That's what extortion means. Wrong. All right, All right so call we, your input is welcome. We take the input here. Just not right. What about the story about the well, jockeys at Penn Station? They boycotted you or something. What the happened? The jockeys at Penn National. Penn National. Oh, listen, Penn National. Penn National is a racetrack. Okay. The jockeys did that. Guess what? Those same jockeys are under indictment. That same thing was a gambling sin. It, it's, they've been exposed. Now, it has been exposed. <laughs> they had 24 people already arrested for that. So, what I want everybody to do is go on there, take a look what I've done. Go and where? Go where? Go on state of corruption. Look at the horse it's racing on. piece. It's all through the internet. All the arrests. So there's a website called stateofcorruption.org. But if okay. you go Mike Gill horse racing, okay. Google that. You Google yeah. it. You'll have 50 pages. And you know what? I wrote about everything that they did and what was going to happen in 2010 and 12. It's all there. And guess what? Everything I said down to the iota, organized crime, paying off. You know the AG just had to be indicted. Who do you think did that? Ask the FBI. 
Right. Who do you think that? So I'm using that as an opportunity. We're going to be having national exposure and drive them right into this state. Right. Mike, how do we keep heroin out of the city of Manchester? State of New Hampshire. Right? Arrest the dealers. That's a good start. Take out the big dealers. Here we go. We get a dealer, right? Why haven't we climbed the ladder? Well, there's a woman who just got arrested. 42-year-old woman, front page of the paper. She works for Aganox. We'll give you immunity, tell us who you work for. Boom. It can be done. They just don't want to do it. People tend not to want to find themselves and incriminate them. That's our problem. The inmates are running the asylum. Listen, why aren't they suing me? Why hasn't one of them say I'm wrong? Have you heard them say I'm wrong? He's, listen, saying you're crazy is a way to turn around and not explaining it. Because here you go, you have two options. He's wrong, he's crazy. Or I'm going to show you he's wrong and I'm going to sue him. Well, what door do they peek each and every time? Right, now you think about that. You would said it when everybody knows. I'm only saying what everybody knows. How many times have you heard the point saying, I know it's corrupt, but what can we do? That's the insidiousness. We are trained to think we can't do anything. Well, we can. I've made the impossible possible before. This is possible. Did Trump make force the Mexicans to build a wall and pay for it? I mean, is there anything on a national level that you are, you know, as far as um, who do you like, who do you, uh, who, did you vote in the primary? I did. I okay. spoke so to Trump, Trump and Trump was being, Are you running as a Republican? Or I'm Democrat? running as an independent. Okay. There's just as many corruption in Republicans as Democrats, right. particularly so in the state. So you're going to run for governor as an independent? As an independent. And cause all kinds of problems for both parties. Well, how do you like to have, I'm, I'm looking forward to debates. Okay. Let's talk about it. You think they'll let you on? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, well, I know some things. Uh, no, no, no. I, I the think the people are. will demand. Hey, listen, okay. we needed 3,000 names. My understanding, we got 4,500 in an afternoon. How many people visited State of Corruption in the last year as far as... Oh, case? about 5, 6 million? Come on. Read them. The numbers are up. Let me ask you this. From all around the country? Oh, or? no, no, no. Mostly Mass in New Hampshire. Okay. Right. And that work I've done in Pennsylvania, but mostly right here. Listen, you read them... People are no. I'm getting information from them. All right. That kind of leads into my question. Who is on your side that is uh, somewhat prominent? Do you have uh, state reps, state senators that are, are I've on got, your side? How about this? Come out with for you? I've got on the family court committee, right? Now, we're going to these committees and confronting them. The chairman's name, De Simone. She only works as directly for a family service company. You know the Title IV D money? That's the money that's matched from federal government on on uh, on uh, child support. They're stealing it, all of it. Nobody's going to count it. So on that hearing, there's 20. I've got six of them, reps, that are willing to sign a criminal complaint to the Department of Justice saying it's corrupt and going right to Washington. And I'm bringing it. That's six reps on one committee. And there's others, many others. Okay, so Joe Lachance, I think you've used a few flavorful names for him. Joe Lachance sponsored a bill for the sale, uh, to make sale, the sale of marijuana legal. Well, let's take a look at this. But Lachance, that, the freshman rep, yeah. sponsored Medicaid expansion, one of the biggest bills in the history of the state, the cannabis bill, another one of the biggest states, and the... Uh, so are, I'm just asking, you, do you watch the bills as they come out? or I'm going to the bills and filming them and catching them in the corruption. Okay. I mean, this is... So are you obviously against legalized marijuana? No, no. I'm all for it. Oh. You know what LeChan wants to do? He wants to give it to the treatment centers. So we're going to give the marijuana bill to be dispensed for the treatment centers that are owned by the drug dealers. <clears throat> so they'll own all the drug deals. I say we issue it to all the people who want. Create your own business. Help them put it. Don't right. benefit yeah. one, so benefit thousands. Massachusetts has... Thousands of liquor stores, but in New Hampshire we have 10 because the state were 90. Because and guess what? Office. They can't find the money. Remember that money for the liquor store that went to go to treatment? And they don't yeah, have any accountability right, for it? Right, yeah, oh, yeah. So they were only stealing saying, it. You're basically saying, like, okay, I, I don't know if Colorado does it. You have, can anybody open a dispensary? Anybody, people can sell it out of their own I store. want them to be able to create businesses. I want to bring businesses back into the state. Why does New Hampshire have the worst job production in the country? Because they don't want to pay the Bill Shaheen tax. Which, that's, is, which tax? Oh, well, that's when you have a company like USA Springs who had a $70 million annual contract. He, he, and Shaheen goes, I need a piece. And if you don't get a piece, you don't get your business. 
And the Harari people told him to stick it. Just like I wanted to put up a sign in Summersworth, and he's saying, well, you're going to have to, I'm going to have to take 100000 from you. The alcohol money you were talking about, when the state sells alcohol, a certain percentage of that is for the profit, supposed to go towards treatment, correct? Right. But, but they lost it. They, they, yeah. Right. Same thing with the Title IV money. The, Title. It's only Title IV-D is matching federal funds for child support. So when the judges raise your child support, they make more money. Did you pull a Republican or Democrat ballot in the primary for president? I did Trump. You did? I did only because he is outside of them. Now, I'm not telling you he's out in front of corruption like he should be. I'm telling you I've talked to his people for the last six to seven months about it. They are fraud. They know about it. They know about the heroin here, but still no one wants to go there because it is sensitive. I don't care. I mean, people are dying. This is corrupt. You can't have this corruption through the courts. We've got to do something. If everybody knows about it, that's the people who are going to vote for me. Everybody. What other issues are important to you besides fentanyl, heroin, corruption? What are... Uh, let's talk about um, Northern nope. Pass. Is Northern Pass something that you would be okay with coming through the state? I'd be, I would look at anything. At this point, again, the state is so corrupt. We have Before we start looking into this and this, we have to step back and go, listen, we've got to clean house. We've got to assess what the situation is here. Bobcat well, hunting? I think what we've got to do is bring in the federal government. I think we give up a few immunities, and we clean it up, and we build it, and then we look at it. Anything to, uh, any thoughts on the court system as far as there's a superior court and then jumps all the way up to a Supreme Court with five justices? Should there be an appellate court in between? It should be, should well, there be more I'm really court connected with the New Hampshire courts. Uh, the New Hampshire courts, the appeals courts are all corrupt. The JCC is all corrupt. Listen, what I'm telling you, there's a national report card. Have you seen the national report card? Do you know what New Hampshire gets for judicial conduct, misconduct? F. Failing. Well, who's running that? Who's running the... Uh... The law firms. The same ones. Ayotte, McLean, Shaheen, and Gordon. It's self-interest. But why are they giving them an F? I mean, well, the nationally an F because no one goes to jail. They know it's corrupt. They're giving them an F because they're failing at protecting us. All right, get in there, Carla. What do you got? Yeah, can you tell me a little bit about the uh, the settlement you had with uh, New Hampshire? We were a mortgage specialist, paid four hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars, I think, and then maybe three hundred thousand in Massachusetts. And then had, I think you personally had to pay something. Can you address that? Yes, I would love to. If you remember, it happened in two thousand and eight when I reported the FRM. They turned around and attacked me to turn around and cover up the FRM. I will show this to anybody who asked for it. We had a three-year audit at the time. Do you know how much they could find me? Not a penny. But the banking commission didn't give me a hearing and posted it. So I was making millions, and I said, I'll pay it to keep the company open. And how about this? Now, that is absolutely 100% certified that it's true. I still have my license. I'm calling them crooks. If they had anything on me that was illegal, they'd have closed me down in a second. That's what happened. So you and paid, I have that off. You paid the fine, or I paid the fine because they didn't have a hearing. So they you got your license. You're of course I do. You. They couldn't take it, and they still can't take it. I showed a, a video of a parking lot, four stacks of copy and paper high, a football field and a half long, and they couldn't find me a cent. Now what do you? Now out of all these Facebook, anybody ever say, "Hey, Mike Hill cheated me"? Mike Hill stole anything? I only finance millions of homes. I don't even charge an application fee, so I can never take any money so you can sit, know that I'm telling you is true. So that's what happened. The same week I reported FRM, when I didn't take their deal, they hit me. Does that answer your question, sir? He's, he's signed off for a while. Any other, um, what else? Bobcat hunting is a big issue in the state. We're for or against it? <coughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to slow down. I say we eat the bobcats. Some people do, actually. You what? Eat the bobcats? Some people do, apparently, to eat bobcats. Well, I, don't I don't know if there's any meat on them, but... Just uh, know this. This thing with the banking. If we get the Department of Justice come in here, you get a brand new state tomorrow. It goes a hot. Hey, it's fun covering The them. Department of Justice mean the feds? Department of Justice, the feds. Okay. Right. Kakavis was part of this deal. He was, he was as the U.S. attorney, he's running the feds. Listen, I put the FBI, you cowards, up on my sign. I don't know if you've seen that, but I did. Do you know what? I had a phone with a message 
went into detail how they were going to murder each and every one of my children, which I have five. I took it to the feds and the FBI in Bedford. Now, isn't that right, FBI? And you know what? When they went to take, they wouldn't take the phone. I said, they're threatening children. Then they had me go through a metal detector. You know what I did with the phone? I threw it through the metal detector, and the FBI agent caught it. I went through the metal detector and took it out of his hands. When I tell you they went bananas, I'm telling you bananas, because they had fingerprints on the phone that threatened to murder my children. Now, they threatened to murder me almost weekly, but they moved it up to my children. And they, they, who threatened? Well, Ted Little was one of my lawyers. We're posting another one. We have four or five attorneys that I have text messages from who quite literally say, they're going to murder you, and we're afraid for our lives. In fact, one guy threatened to kill me because he was afraid of his two children being murdered. No, they're all attorneys. In fact, one's a state senator. Yeah. And listen, you know Andy Sanborn? Yeah. Oh, good guy, right? Yeah. Why don't you ask him about the drug dealers? For 20 years that he's known about it. You right. Talk to him. I've had people talk to him. Who hasn't sold drugs, he said? Right. Ask them. Okay. Make a point to say that I said it. All right, well, what we'll, we'll do is wrap it up, and we'll spend the last 20 minutes on local issues. I want to thank Mike Gill for coming on, and... Uh, I think you know. I'll have you host for me. <laughs> I think a day Any off. time. No you could come in and answer the question. Take Listen, I'm on my own radio show, and i got to wheel it for an hour by myself. Where, where is the radio show? On uh, 107.7 The Pulse, Fridays at 1 o'clock. Oh, really? And I redo it on Saturday. Listen, I've been saying this for weeks and weeks and weeks about Andrew Austin Cruz. No one's saying I'm wrong. Just that I'm getting a lot of papers saying, see, you see what these are? Some of these people? Well, Mike, I'll, I'll I think they're plants. I'll tell you this much. It'll be interesting to see if something concrete comes of this. Like from, some people, listen, I've had, what, four or five of them retire in the last couple of weeks. You just had your bank. You can't find the banking commission over a search warrant. How's that? Who else has made your, who else has made your sign? Who, uh, who else? Shaheen. Okay. Ayotte. Kakavis. Walker, these are the ringleaders. These are the ringleaders. They're the ones who run the courts. Francois McHugh. McHugh is the one protecting the back door for the banking department. Now it's Judge Anderson. Completely corrupt. See, if you can't sue them, you can't get in. And that's what's happening. That's the power of controlling the courts. They're making your laws. They're controlling your courts. They're selling you heroin. They own this Medicaid expansion bill. That's for them to get paid. How does a freshman rep get to be on the three most important bills maybe in the state in the last 20 years. Well, He's a dupe. Well, I, I'm sure Joel Chance has a response to that. We're going to get him on here to respond. If he's not listening tonight, I'm sure he's going to hear about it. Well, I tell you what, I had him text a couple times and begged him to be on. Well, he'll, I'm sure he will be on because in the near future. we're not ducking anybody. Okay. We're going to confront everybody. I'm not going to be intimidated. All right. Yeah. I am not going to be threatened and I'm going I'm we're, I'm telling you this is possible I am telling you we can be the governor we can put them all in jail all right Mike Gill thanks a lot folks don't go away we're gonna be back in 37 seconds to finish the show with some local issues thank you very much Mike Gill we'll be right back folks don't go away <laughs>